women's leadership is transforming both the public and private technology sectors. But exactly what impact is the evolving role of women having? And what are the barriers to even more women assuming leadership roles in the world of technology? An expert panel convened to explore these questions and to discuss the challenges and opportunities ahead. That's the focus of this edition of Rewind. Technology is rapidly revolutionizing every aspect of our daily lives, yet today women only hold 26% of all tech jobs. And disconcertingly, that number has gotten worse through the years. When you limit the pool of talent pursuing jobs in our most high-impact fields, it puts our future competitiveness as a nation at risk. So Google recently com uh, commissioned research to help us understand what motivates girls to pursue degrees in computer science. Encouragement, career perception, self-perception, and academic exposure account for 95% of it, and that's all controllable. Women are more drawn to tech when they see concrete examples of very broad applications in the real world. They don't go to tech just because there is a problem to solve mathematically. They want to know how it translates into potentially finding cures for cancer, um, things that can help make um, the world a better place. How does this get me there? I have worked in the field of women and technology and women's leadership for a long time because I see technology as the pathway for women to have a seat at the table. And I think that if women can have careers where they make money and have a voice, they're stronger in their families, they're stronger in their communities, in government, whatever arena that they choose. Women often are attracted to technology because um, they see it as a tool to solve social problems. In um, the 1800s, many women, um, have, it's been documented that many women created better safety issues, mm -hmm. um, tools that created safety for women working in um, textile mills, for example, because they were in there working alongside them, seeing their friends and colleagues get injured, and they created ways to make the workplace more safe. Given your deep inroads in both government and private sector, have you seen changes in both in both of those sectors over the past decade concerning attraction and retention of technical women? And what have we been doing well in these sectors, and what haven't we been doing well? In the private sector, when it comes to tech, um, we are seen a, uh, a, a really a, 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 a very upsetting situation, but we're beginning to see some changes. What do you say to all the computer scientists and recovering tech, you know, technologists like me, um, you know, who ran towards this field of technology, you know, kind of humanitarian technology, because that's the big thing to go to now, and it kind of plays into what we talked about, what, what Susan and Paula both picked, uh, talked about um, in terms of women wanting to do something that's uh, impactful and substantial. What do you say to them about people coming in and trying to use technology to make, the, you know, make a better world? It's, it's critical that women in technology see other women and see them progressing and advancing to the C-suite, to the senior levels. We haven't talked about mentoring yet on this panel and mentoring is so important and also just seeing yourself reflected in those. So I encourage women to stay where they are and advance and there are also many opportunities today to use your technology from where you are sitting in a tech company. That wasn't true five, ten years ago. You had to make a choice between doing something kind of good for society or being in business and technology. Women in tech have done better when they find leadership positions in the public sector. And so we've got a brain drain in the private sector for women in tech. We find that women are, feel that they're shunted into execution roles in the private sector. And, and do not have that, those opportunities that they get in the public sector. I would say um, we have a lot of work to do, um, both uh, from a gender gap point of view, as well as from their actual leadership position, leadership in creating the new technologies of the future, which is the basis of America's past greatness and future greatness. For more information, visit wilsoncenter.org. Click the Research tab and search under the Global Women's Leadership Initiative and the Science and Technology Innovation Program.